Edge function became really popular the last years. And with Superbase, you can, of course, create those serverless functions that helps you to trigger some operations. Let me give you an example. You have a front-end application and you need to create a payment with Stripe. You would need to create a, an API, actually, between your client and Stripe to trigger this payment intent. How would you do? You would create a Node.js application that you would deploy somewhere. And it's a lot of work, it's a lot of time, and you may not have that time. Well, the solution is to create actually an edge function to do that. But you could also use this edge function to do a lot of other stuff, such as creating a bot for Discord, a bot for Twitter, or maybe a bot for Telegram. You have to understand that these edge functions are serverless and they help you to deploy really quickly a server that where you are going to trigger some actions. All right, so in my Superbase instance, I go here on edge function. And what I can see here is that I got no edge function yet. So I would need to create my first edge function in my uh, Superbase project. So back here, I got my Superbase project. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to copy paste this Superbase function, new hello world. But before we do that, I propose you to look at the documentation. Okay. So hedge functions here are server side TypeScript function distributed globally at the edge close to your user. So you can use third party library like Stripe, but also Dino for instance. And this is what we're going to do. If you want to have some examples, you can go down there with Superbase.js, Cores Headers, React Native, Flutter, etc., etc. OG Image Generation and Storage, CDN Caching. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with Edge Functions. And if you are looking for some project done with Edge Functions, you can go on the Superbase GitHub repository. And here on the examples, here on the Superbase function, you get a lot of examples. So for instance, here we see that we've got edge function with OpenAI, with OpenGraph, Puppeteer, if you want to do some uh, boat or some scrapping, Streams, Stripe Webhooks, which are really useful when you want to do some payments, and Telegram bot. But there's, there are a lot of other projects that you can look at. Us, we are going to start by creating our own function. So I'm going to copy paste my Superbase function, new hello world. So as we can see, I created a Superbase folder with a subfolder called function with the name of my new function that I created. So here, when I type new, after I can put the name I want, it will give the name of the function. All right, so how does it work? I got an index.ts uh, file that is created by default. And here we see that we've got a Dino server here. So we've got some comments here. And down here, we have the command if we want to invoke our function. All right. So right now, this function is doing what? It's importing serve from Dino. Here, we've got Dino that is exported from a content delivery network. All right from the official dino.land website. And we've got the function serve. And here we serve a Node.js application, okay? A Dino.js actually here. So it's really simple uh, in our request, okay? We are supposed to get uh, the name in the request as a, as a JSON. Then we create an object and we return as a response this object. So how does it work? Well, now we've got this function Right now, our Superbase instance doesn't know, okay? What we need to do is to deploy this function from our project to our Superbase instance. So to do that, I'm going to get back. And here we see that we've got deploy your function. So I'm going to copy paste this. I'm going to get back to my application. And right now I am logged in on my Superbase instance. If you are not, you will have to type Superbase login, all right? And down here, it will uh, ask you the access token. So if you don't have it, you have to click on this link to open it. And here you have to generate a new token. So I'm going to click here. This name is going to be my new token. Let's say, okay, I'm going to click on generate a token. And here we are. So here, be safe. I get this token. I have to copy this access token somewhere and to keep it because it's really, really important. I'm going to copy paste and I'm going to get back and I'm going to enter my access token here. And here we are, I'm logged in on my Superbase instance. So now what I can do is to get back here and copy paste again my Superbase function deploy hello world. So I'm going to get back 
and I'm going to copy paste super base functions deploy hello world be safe hello world here is a reference to my folder so if you gave another name you have to uh, change the name here okay so I'm going to deploy it directly from my uh, code editor here from my project locally to my super base instance so I'm going to type enter and here it says building hello world and then I got the message deployed function hello world on the project etc etc all right when I get back in my edge function, I got my edge function here. So what I can do is just copy and paste this URL. I'm going to open it inside my browser. And why do I got is missing authorization header? Of course, because here I cannot call my um, super base function if I'm not authorized. All right, remember that you will need the token if you keep the authorization uh, with GWT. So you got the token down here, you would copy paste it inside your header. Otherwise, what you can do just to test is to click here on the function itself. And here you got some information about the name. If you want to change the name, then you got some other information. And down here you got enforce GWT verification. I'm going to disable this just for the example. Please don't do it for the function that you use all the time. Otherwise, anybody could uh, call your function, okay? So I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to call again my endpoint. Here I'm going to do a post and I'm going to post the name because remember on our function, we need to catch the name, okay? And it's supposed to return to us hello name. So let's start, let's try to call the endpoint itself. We just deployed. I'm going to click on send and look at this. Here we are, we've got our message. All right, so here we see that our server is doing some operation for us. And that's really cool. Let's clean this a little bit. And what we would like to do, so I'm going to keep, keep this also. What I would like to do is maybe to call my Superbase instance. So let's give an example. Right now I got this function, hello world running. And what I would like to do is actually to uh, call my uh, database here, my tables. And let's say that I would like to get, for instance, uh, the post. So I'm going to look at the post. And here we've got a lot of posts previously of uh, a lot of people that wrote here a lot of messages to test the real time. So let's say that I would like to call here on uh, my request, my Superbase instance and get the post by the edge function. It's totally possible. What I would do at first is to call create client from the Superbase SDK that I'm calling up here from a content delivery network. Then what I would need to do is here to pass some secrets, some environmental variables. What I would need to do here is to create a new file here. It's going to be an env file and I'm going to copy paste some keys that will help me to access to the Superbase instance. The first one is going to be a Superbase URL. So here I'm putting an underscore on the top of it to don't get any error. And then it's going to be the Superbase service key. If I want to find those keys, I can go to project settings, API. Here I got my URL and down here I need to get what we call the service role key. Here it's going to give me all the access. Okay, so now I can create my client when I initiate my Superbase function. So I'm going to use my Superbase URL that I got in my env file here locally in the same folder. Then I got the Superbase service key up here and I'm creating the client down there. So I go on my API docs, I got my post and let's say that I want to have, I want to read all the posts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here, let data post. So I'm going to go down here here we are, and I'm going to actually return. So here I'm returning the data exactly here. So what I can do is instead returning an object with data anyway. And here I can return my post, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is that when I am going to request hello world, it's going to return to me the hello with name, whatever, or let's say that I'm going to put by default Guillaume because I don't wanna put Guillaume all the time. And then I'm going to return all the posts from my Superbase instance. So you understand here that I'm using the SDK inside my Superbase Edge function to provide some actions. So here I'm just selecting, but let's say that later you would have an API 
to do some operation, uh, some crude operation, so create, read, update, or delete, you can use the SDK directly from here. But the thing here is that I don't get my env file that is deployed immediately on my function. So what I would need to do is here to push my uh, environmental variable to my Superbase instance. And to do that, we are going to use the Superbase deploy secret function. So I'm going to type Superbase secret set uh, minus minus env file. And here what I need to do is to go to the Superbase folder. So here it's in Superbase function, hello world. And here, of course, I need to type env, okay? Just here, I need to type env, okay? So I'm going to type enter. And when I type enter, I get an error called superbase link. So what I want to do, I want to type superbase link. And here I need to enter my database password. If I look for the password, what I need to do is to go to project settings database. And here I got a password and it's written the password you, pre you provided when you created this project. If you got trouble, you can reset the database password. I got my password, so now I can type superbase link. And I want to pass the password, so I'm going to type minus P and I'm going to type my password and type enter. Okay, now I can come back on the command I entered before. I'm going to type enter. And here we are, finished Superbase secret set. So now I can deploy again. So again, Superbase function deploy hello world. It's going to build again. And at the end, here we are, we've got our hello world function working. Okay, here we are. Let's call again our function. I'm going to click on send. And here we are. So I got my message from the server. And look at this. I got the list of the posts that you posted on the real-time application that I have created before. So what we did here, we created a function that is calling our Superbase instance and that is providing to us some operations that we can do. So you got to see the function like a um, Dino server that you can call anytime to do some specific operation, okay? Let's get back on everything that we've done since the beginning. We created a function that we deployed immediately on our Superbase instance. Then we can request this function to do some operation. What is this edge function? This edge function is actually a Dino server. And this Dino server can do anything that a backend could do. It can do many operations. It can be connected to Stripe. It can be connected to Upspot. It can be connected to many other libraries, everything that is an API, actually. We can make call. We can make asynchronous operation. But also, we can call our Superbase instance and use the SDK from Superbase exactly like we do in a front-end application to do some operations. So here we've got the uh, select from post that is returning to us the post of the previous users, okay? So here the edge functions are playing the role of a backend serverless, okay? It's a distant backend that you are going to call. I'm not going to show you in this lesson how to use it locally because you would have to work with Docker and you would have to do some uh, more configuration. And in the description, I'm giving you the link to work with uh, edge functions locally. It's a video from the Superbase team uh, and it's a very good tutorial from Tor. Tor is a member of the Superbase team. But you have to think about edge functions like a way of creating really fast a Dino server to do some operations for you.